second. Now, survivors of the Pulse nightclub shooting file a lawsuit. And they claim the shooting could have been prevented. A few of those victims and their attorneys spoke moments ago. News 6 is Nadine Yanez joins us live now from downtown Orlando. Nadine, what are they wanting out of this lawsuit? Well, Kirsten Bridget, they want someone to take responsibility and their attorneys today saying that someone should be Omar Mateen's employer at the security company he worked for and Omar Mateen's wife saying that they both could have stopped the Pulse attack today. Now, there were lawyers from three major law, uh, law firms from across the country at this news conference about an hour ago. They're representing 57 Pulse victims. Of those, seven of them are family members of people who died on that June night. At the conference, we heard news stories from three victims of what they went through, we, stories that we've never heard before. They explain why they wanted to be a part of this giant lawsuit. The lawsuit naming Omar Mateen's employer G4 Solutions, the world's largest security company, saying that the company had knowledge that Mateen was unstable and knew that he was making threats at work but did nothing about it. They also claim in the lawsuit that uh, Noor Salman, Omar Mateen's wife, could have also prevented the attack. Take a listen. Someone chose to ignore. Someone chose to not accept what was obvious. They chose to look over and turn a blind eye and then people can carry out their plots and schemes as happened in this case. And you've heard from these three victims that this should not have happened because it was, as I've said, it was predictable and therefore preventable. So it's a 28 page lawsuit. We asked the attorneys directly, what do they want to get from this? They say justice. Of course they say they want some monetary compensation as well. When asked a dollar amount, they said that this is something that uh, could not even be totaled yet. So they wouldn't give us a straight amount on how much they're looking for. But of course, they're even wanting as far as legislative change because of this. So a lot to sift through after this one hour press conference. Again, it's a 28 page lawsuit. We also heard news stories from those victims. I'm going to have all of that at News 6 starting at 4 tonight. Guys, Thanks. Bye.